Hello, this is Crystal Racing here to do a quick video on who is Jack Aiken. Now, reading from his biography, he was born on 23rd September 1995 in London, which of course makes him 25 years old. He was born to a Scottish father and a Korean mother, hence why he wears the flags of both Great Britain and South Korea. He began his career in karting at Bookmore Park when he was seven years old. He transitioned to car racing when he competed in the Intercepts Championship with Ford Tech Motorsport in 2012, where he would consequently go on to race in Formula Renault 2.0 NEC in 2013, where he finished runner-up despite not winning a race. Um... It was, however, a championship where it appears to be only about 10 drivers competed full-time and um, his championship, and the guy who won the championship, Matt Parry, won the series with five wins. So, you know, in a sense, it was a good effort, but there were other drivers such as Ollie Rowland and Stehan Scott Force who did win races regularly despite not competing full-time. So, in a sense, it was his his first proper season of car racing. As well as that, he also competed in select races in the Euro Cup Formula Renault Series 2.0, where apparently he didn't score any points. Then he would go and compete in the Euro Cup Formula Renault 2.0 Series in 2014 full-time, as well as a, a few races in Formula Renault 2.0 zero outs, where he, did, where he managed to win a race in the Euro Cup Series, but only finished seventh in the championship. He was not class classified in the Alp series, and he also competed in America in the Pro Master Championship for a couple of races, but never competed again afterwards. Then in 2015, he would have a fantastic season where he would win five races in the Euro Cup series, four races in the Alp series, and also won three out of five races at a Pro Master Winterfest. He won all three championships in what was a fabulous breakout se season. Although, of course, you have to remember he was now already 20 years old. So, logically, the, the, the old, he, he made the step up to the GP3 series in 2016, where he had a solid season, winning his maiden race at the Spa Sprint race and finishing fifth in the championship where thanks to a great end to the second half of the season where he won seven where he picked up seven podiums, I beg your pardon. Twenty seventeen saw him move to ART where he would only win once at Hungary in the in the feature race. But he did finish on the podium um, seven times once again and finished runner up to of course um, none other than George Russell. He also competed in a few races in the Formula V8 3.5 series in the in 2016, but picked up only a fourth place and a ninth place finish. Um, 2018, he moved to the FIA Formula 2 Championship. Of course, he's currently in his third year. First season, he managed to win at the Catalonia Sprint Race. But after that, he didn't really achieve anything. And of course, it was kind of very disappointing when you consider he was driving the ART Grand Prix team alongside, of course, the guy who won the championship that year, once again beaten by George Russell. And unfortunately, though, whilst George Russell was out there winning the championship by a long way, a kid finished all the way down in 11th, a very disappointing season, which meant that for 2019 he went to Campos Racing where he won three times. He took his first ever feature race victory at Baku and started the first half of the season very strongly and looking like a championship contender. But then after Hungary, then of course there was the two cancelled races at Spa and then of course for ba and then whilst he did win the sprint race at Monza, he failed to score in the last three races of the season as he would finish a long way off behind um, eventual champion Nick De Vries and of course current and of course his current Williams teammate Nicholas Satifi and finished in fifth. This season he's continued racing for Campos Racing, but he has only picked up two podiums, of course, both coming at Silverstone. And it has to be said, he's all the way down in fourteenth and 
of course, since there are no more races after this season, since, of course, they will not be returning to Formula 2 for the rest of this season due to his F1 commitments, he will finish the championship down in 14th in what has been by far his worst season in the in the in the in Formula 1's main feeder series. Um, of course, as you've probably seen, uh, of course, he qualified 19th, only a 10th behind teammate Nicholas Atifi. So I have to say, it was not a bad effort, but, you know, judging by his junior record, I mean, all he has to show for his career has been a third place finish in the Dunlop Intercepts Championship when he was 17, a finishing second in the Formula Renault 2.0 NEC Championship, the North. European series back when he was 18 and then of course this fabulous 2015 season where he dominated dominated three championships and you could say maybe you know he did well at finishing runner up back in 2017 in the GP3 series but to be honest he was by far the, one of the most experienced drivers at that level and he was already 22 years old and he got beat by by George Russell, of course, as you probably all know, of course, George Russell went on to beat him even by an even bigger margin when he stepped up to Formula 2 a year later, so, you know, look, I mean, I suppose if Jack Aiken can somehow beat uh, Nicholas at TV this weekend, and maybe if he gets another chance weekend, he could, well, Potentially show himself as a future F1 star, but don't expect great things from Jack Aiken. It's kind of, I mean, I suppose we'll see with Jack Aiken. He's got a better chance than Pedro Fittipaldi, who is up against a much tougher teammate than Kevin Magnussen. But again, as I've said, do not expect great things from Jack Aiken. But of course, as you probably know, um, he is well known for being part of WTF1. So if you enjoyed this video, please do all the normal stuff and I'll see you again next time.